So what we have today here is the second generation of the Taurus Coolify, aptly named the Taurus Coolify 2. So I've been using this for quite some time and the reason why this exists is, well, because the heat wave now is quite insane, right? So you're gonna need something to cool you down. So this is why the Taurus Coolify exists. So this second generation comes with an omnidirectional cooling fan. Uh, it kind of, yeah, we'll show you later. Uh, ergonomic design and NTC power, no idea what that means, but it's technically a Peltier cooler on two sides this time and they are larger in terms of area compared to the first generation. So let's unbox and see what's new. Okay, so the box is fairly simple. So you can see here, carry your cool. It's a bad pun, but okay. And then number two, because it's the Taurus Coolify 2. Opening up, we have this semi hard shell plasticky kind of case and it also rocks back and forth because it's rounded and then this is a rather high quality case by the way I'm just worried about hairline scratches on this transparent part here but it's okay they also included a carabiner here so you can literally carry your cool because why not right <laughs> opening up we have the Taurus Coolify 2 itself this is the thing then there's a strap here in the middle to hold everything together I'm just gonna take this thing out for now then we have the accessories there's really nothing much here we only get the user manual and also some documentation alongside the USB cable this time it's using a type C cable just like last time actually so that's good I'm gonna leave everything inside so let's take a tour around this cooler so the design has changed quite substantially compared to the first generation. Firstly, we now have one button here and then another button here. This is to toggle modes. We'll get more into the features later. So we have one vent here, another vent here, one fan here and another fan here. Then USB Type-C port here for charging. So one of the biggest improvement is actually these two plates here. These two plates are actually the Peltier coolers inside. So, instead of having the two tiny plates on the first generation, we now have two big plates here. So, I should show you the features first. Power button means that it will go into Peltier cooling mode. C1 means level 1, level 2, level 3. I'm pretty sure you can hear the fan noise already. And it also has a tiny display here to tell you the battery percentage. If we press the second button at this side here, it will change to fan mode only, so it's F1, then F2, then F3. This is fan mode only, so no Peltier cooler. But this time, you can turn on the Peltier cooler only without turning on the fan, which is something new, I guess. So with everything powered off, you can just press the second button. It can go F, means it's in fan mode, but nothing is powered on. Then go to C mode. Peltier cooler will turn on without the fan turning on. So one of the new features with the omnidirectional fan is actually these two vents here. There's actually air blowing out. What we can do here, wait, let me just show you. Uh, fan number three. The fan is quite strong here. So when you wear the thing like this, it's blowing up. So if I wear it like this, my neck will be cooled on these two sides and then my face here will also be cooled down because, you know, the fan here is blowing air towards my face. But one thing I realized is that we can wear the Taurus Coolify 2 in inverted mode, which will definitely mess up the audio. So let me just do it really quickly. So if I wear it like this, technically air is blowing inside my shirt and that cools me down even further. Uh, I'm pretty sure the audio on the microphone is very horrible now but this works. So after all that, I've been wearing the Taurus Qualify for quite a long time now because the weather has been extremely hot here in Malaysia and the battery life of this Taurus Qualify isn't exactly the best. It's pretty much the same as last generation, by the way. 
So we expect it to last for about two to three hours, depending on what fan speed that we are running it on. Usually with Peltier turned on, it can last for at most two hours and that's the maximum that we can go. But I would still say this is a really good complementary device, especially for this kind of hot weather. And if you just want to cool down your face, your neck, then wear this. You can technically carry your cool, right? Just yeah. As for the price, I forgot, so I'll leave everything on the screen here. It's a cool product, but I don't expect it to be cheap. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Really liking this product overall and Taurus, please, if you can improve on the third generation, maybe make the Peltier cooler even cooler, mm -hmm. that would be great. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.